they don't just stand by and put up with it. They act on it. And I that's the thing. I don't understand like the whole gliders, no matter where they at, like why y'all so fucking just accepting dog like yeah oh man I would look y'all. but here's here's the funny thing you have gliders attacking gliders right they are literally hanging so-called black people arabs men women and children like they're literally hanging them in the streets okay i mean it's it's, it's a complete I haven't heard it's, that. It's a, I ain't heard nobody. Yeah, no, uh, I, I'm, t- I'm listen. I'm talking to firsthand sources from someone that lives over there that I talk to daily. I mean, it is total it. chaos. But the total left with the left love a story like that. The left would like those are stories that yeah. get pushed. Like we would we we would a hanging black person. Listen, they're hanging I'm blacks. They're hanging white. They're hanging all nationalities. Uh, yeah. It's it's nah. true chaos over you, there. No, nah. you know how much they will love. Listen, no, I'm trust me when I tell you of a hanging black. No, person. it's not the imagery. I'm talking about. I'm talking to a person who's in the middle of it. She's a reporter over there, and she's literally taking pictures and she's sending me stuff. Me and her, me me and her went to school together, but she Don't toy she's she. She's Don't a citizen. And... Man, don't listen, tell me that you're doing if, this and then it does, turns out to not be true. Don't tell if, me. If she got those pictures, man, she'll be a rich woman because CNN will that me. shit and Kamala will win in the land. Yeah, like, I'm, I'm sorry, bro. Where's the pictures, man? We in the social media age. We got I, I, not one picture. Yeah. Yo, she, she, she be on she live. A, listen, she be on live. To share the picture. Let's He's alive. Hold on. Let me let me let me okay. see some more. Hey. What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? Bitter divisions in the United Kingdom. Where anger-filled protests erupted into violent riots this week. People are fed up of being told you they need to be, be fighting the Muslims. White and working class. A right-wing tinderbox of anti-Muslim sentiment ignited by dangerous online misinformation. There is an attempt Yikes. to avoid a very tragic situation. One of those accused of using ignited by misinformation, not a guy killing three little girls. Tommy Robinson, the anti. Yeah, and he lied about that story. It's like the, the media, dog. Like, it's so fucked up, man. Yeah, but the the whole fact that, like, I, okay, this I, time it wasn't the Muslim. Like, I, it, all all they're basically saying, though, Mister Philly, is like this time it wasn't the Muslim. It was a black Rwanda. Bro, it was a but black like, guy that grew up in yeah. Wales or something. No, but hold on, there was a black exomic that saved those three girls. Well, I mean, uh, yeah, yeah, like that. I don't, yeah, you can't, you can't, you can't, you can't. I'm telling you, you can't, you can't look at one group. You can't, you can't, you can't, you can't say, oh, okay, well, just because one person did one thing, you know, they're all like that. Man, have you this guy? Like he literally? Have you been on this? Have you been on this planet? Report. Uh, have you so been you're on saying this planet? Fear, so you're saying they're fear of my bro, listen. bro, I've been on this planet since 75. Yeah, what are you, what are you Trust me, I've though? seen it all. I've traveled. Are you, are you it's saying a bunch people? of propaganda? Okay. So you you're you're saying that they can't be upset that Muslims are the majority of their country now. Not yet, but they're yeah, happy. I mean. Like, Trust I mean, me, it's a discussion. You do not want to hear from me. Trust me. My, Mystic, oh, who, Mystic, who's, who is over there hanging people? Like, who, who are the people that are doing this? The Muslims. Oh, the Muslims are hanging people. Okay. It's not the Muslims. It's, it's, oh, it's, the, doing the, it's the English. Uh, oh, the English. English. No, the English, the English are doing hanging. Hey, brother, listen, they bust, uh, listen, I'm they I'm bust this. That one. <laughs> no, they bust in. They bust in a bunch of people. They had they had neo Nazis and everything trampling around. 
Oh, grabbing those, up people, beating they, up people. They, they I mean, Jesse so, on a, on so a, you can't go by. Like, listen, you can't go by what's on social media. Watch. I'm those, telling you, man. watch the foreign news. I, 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 so I, this been, is he's been so around. So this for is like while, white right? supremacy uh, at work. Like white supremacy is coming back in, in full. No, it's not like white saying. supremacy. No, like it's, no, it's not like white supremacy. Vacation. These people. It's not white supremacy. Let me it's let me move supremacy. on though, man, because we get we getting bogged down on this shit, because man. they want these people off their land. Listen, man, if, if there was people getting hanged, that would be the first thing I'd have seen when I turned on my timeline. The Islam campaigner and convicted criminal, one not of showing the UK's it. most prominent far right activist, Thomas Daigle, has covered uh, Tommy Robinson for years. So, what do we know about his involvement? You could say Tommy Robinson has been laying the groundwork, uh, fanning anger, especially towards Muslims and immigrants uh, for his followers for years now. And all that was needed was a spark. And sadly, that came last week with that mass stabbing and the deaths of, of three young children in Southport, England. What did Tommy Robinson say about all this? Unapologetically, in his words, don't say I didn't warn you. So in 2018, I looked into what this growing influence means for Robinson and his supporters. His name rallies those with like-minded views. An army so passionate about his cause, they show up outside the courthouse when he's inside. Tommy speaks the truth. About what? About, <laughs> I think you know what about. Islam, Syria law. Tommy Robinson fancies himself an activist and journalist known for provocative statements like this. We don't have to stop radical Muslims. We have to stop his name. I'm, I've caused a breach of peace. I'm being arrested. A Facebook live stream ultimately got him arrested, reporting in his own way outside a trial covered by a publication ban. Authorities considered it contempt of court, but that's just part of the story. This These people just right. want their country An back. Anti-Muslim activist with a history of violence and criminality who was sent to prison for breaking the law. We don't want any more mosques in this country. Just look at how Robinson first became known more than a decade ago by leading chaotic rallies with the self-styled English Defence League, a group promoting British values over what it considered creeping Sharia law. Look around you. Feel your strength. Among his followers back then was Ivan Humble. He now rejects the group known as EDL, but keeps the tattoo as a reminder of just how enthralled he became. There's nobody listening to me. And I found a voice in the English Defence League. If you self-brainwash yourself unconsciously, you don't really realise. Because you're reading the same stuff, you just don't really realise that it's affecting you in your head. That's quite sad. But then, it's the first women, time he returns yeah, to Luton Town Hall since the group was banned here in the heart of Robinson's hometown. In his old stomping grounds, Robinson channeled fears of Islam as a supposed threat to local culture. Then turning to social media, Robinson gained an overseas audience and a big boost from Canada. What he says is clear and philosophical and like-minded firebrand Ezra Levant offered Robinson a platform on his alternative network, Rebel Media. Who are you here? Racking up millions of views with stunts like this. You're scum. You're defending rape. You're you're defending child rapists. Antagonizing the accused and their families outside rape trials. I'm here to expose people like you, all of you. And blaming Islam as the source of the crime. The fact that instead of talking about the individuals Ooh. that perpetrate the crimes, he extrapolates that out and holds the whole of the Muslim community and the whole of Islam, or 1.6 billion, responsible. His supporters saw his arrest as an attack on free speech. They marched in his defense, many likely unaware the demonstration was partly funded by a think tank an ocean away. How do you spend money that goes to support, give air, oxygen to these comments? So it's not about the oxygen that's giving to the comments. It's about his right to say it. It's important for an American organization to stand up <laughs> for an individual talking about the threat of Islamism in his community, because what's going on there could also and is also occurring here in the United States. 
Released from prison in 2018, Robinson gave few interviews. All, you do, all the mainstream media do is yep. live. But a primetime spot on Fox News confirmed his audience had reached global proportions. The minute you mention criticize Islam, you are deemed and attacked by everybody. When his retrial got underway with the threat of prison time looming, his supporters showed they'll have his back. And when he speaks his mind, they'll listen. So just to be clear, Tommy Robinson hasn't been involved in the riots this week on the ground himself. No, the irony here is he's been thousands of kilometers away posting about these riots uh, from the beach, uh, soaking up the sun in Greece and in Cyprus. The tabloids uh, caught up with him there. Pointedly, British prosecutors have said that if you're on social media influencing and, and egging on these riots from abroad, you will be extradited. They haven't named him, but in any case... Egging on? <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah, anything wow. you report, anything you report is considered, and they, and they do lock those people up. It's like it's not a joke over there. Like we can't fathom being locked up for a tweet, but they, 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 that happens very often over there. That, that's common. That's very common, man. Um, yeah, that's new to me. I didn't know they did that over there. Yeah, they, 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 um, they lock people up for tweets and all types of stuff, man. Um, they don't. And and it it could it could be a retweet like just retweeting something that they feel like is um like against immigrants. It's mostly like talk about like negative talk about immigrants or politicians or something like that. But yeah, they'll they'll, they'll put you in prison for that shit. Damn. They send guys to riot gear to your house to just round you up. Damn. Yeah, so it's, <laughs> it's a rough place, man. No joke. Um, Facebook no joke. post. For exactly. Uh, yeah. A hundred far right protesters on the streets of Belfast. Outnumbered, though, five to one. What's up, Furcon? What's up? Damn. Are are you guys familiar with the uh, the riots in the seventies? In England. You're right, though. You're right. Yeah, in England. No. Electric Avenue. All right. When, when you get a chance, well, yeah. When you get a chance, do some research on it. So Lake of so Don't bring it up. And start it's, doing it's, that shit. Don't, it's, it's, don't do it's, that. <laughs> don't you did that? Don't bring that shit up. You it, you're seeing, listen, you're right. seeing everything repeated worldwide. It was it was over the By same stuff. He gonna be vague, man. Pretty he much similar shit. No bullshit. You drive in some Wendy's Police separating the two groups. You gotta explain. This, the sixth evening of disruption right, in the city has seen the most consistent levels of violence what since the, the whole thing erupted. <laughs> but communities everywhere are on edge. <laughs> the Friday young, call to so prayer in Wapping. There's been hey, online chatter on, about Stop potential targeting of mosques in East London. Although police say there's a lot of bogus scaremongering on social media. We're young, but we spend if a lot of time. You or your family shit. members are. Bro, you don't um, know how old I am. Yeah, well, like, we're uh, young, but we spend all our time on this channel. You don't know what the fuck we're capable, like what we know. Uh -oh. So, so go ahead and cite your source, man. Oh shit. He ain't finished. All right, but... we'll give him time. Whatever. <laughs> Salute to um, Savage, man. Savage says, those who dispersed around the globe can now absorb the technology and culture of those nations. The more guilt and compassion felt by the people will make this absorption become solidified, creating a permanent consuming class. Mm. So, yeah, listen, listen, I, I get it. These people are going to come to this place and they're going to like feed the machine, the capitalism machine, but they're also going to degrade capitalism. That, well, if if there's some spooky like um, conspiracy to bring in migrants and immigrants into Western countries to use them to you know as you know like fodder for capitalists, you know just basically like feeding like like you feed logs into a fire. If you if you're doing that. You got you you underestimated one thing, especially about the Muslims more so than the Hispanics. 
Those Muslims are going to destroy capitalism. There ain't going to be no fucking capitalism. That's what I'm saying. That, like, that is not the purpose. It's yeah, their the way shit. or no way. Yeah, the yeah, whole I'm shit crazy. is just basically saying, like, I don't blame these people for not wanting them in their country, bro. Like, I, I as a fucking American that, you know what I'm saying, assimilated to American culture, generation to generation, I feel a certain way about all these motherfucking venezuelans and all the other shit that's coming in our country i don't want them here because they don't they don't assimilate to our culture they Mm -hmm. are bottom feeders in their country and they come over here and they grab and grab and take and take and take here but then they're the loudest people in the room because the fucking gliders don't say anything you know what i'm saying like it just sucks bro i don't want like they don't want them there if they fit, if they want to be loud in a room, go be loud in a room in your country and fix your shit. Yeah, they, That's they it. Definitely, definitely. Yeah. Even the white people, even the liberal white people, they That's don't the want this Muslim. <laughs> they don't say it. <laughs> they don't say shit. Are anyway, feeling threatened by anyone? Tell uh, someone else to be vigilant. Worshippers pack the small mosque with extra prayer mats placed outside for those who can't get in. Well, the community here, no doubt, praying for a peaceful weekend. And they're not alone because behind them, members of the communities from other faiths have come here to lend their support. If you could speak to one of these far activists, would you? Yeah, definitely. And what would you say? So I'd, I think, uh, teach them or open their eyes at least to the true, um, the true beliefs of Islam how we don't promote violence, we don't promote anything negative, I'd say. <laughs> Adel's dad told him to stay Please away say. from the larger mosque in Whitechapel. There's a police presence here, and the locals appreciate it. Nationally, this will be the biggest policing weekend of any year in the last 13. The beginning of the football season adds another dimension, although there's currently no specific intelligence to football-related trouble. Just come and have a look at what you are on the intelligence front. It may all be for nothing, but meeting intelligence officers, the Prime Minister says police need to be prepared. I'm absolutely convinced Fucking that dork. having the police officers in place these last few days in the right places, the swift justice that's being dispensed in our courts have had um, a real impact, um, but we have to stay on high alert going into this weekend. There have been around 600 arrests related to the violence and a quarter of those have already been charged. Among them, Stacey hey. Vinn was jailed for 20 months for pushing a burning wheelie bin into a police line. And Jordan <laughs> Parler is the first... <laughs> none, none of the Muslims throwing fucking fireworks at them cops all night is going to be charged with anything. This dude, got he got 20 months for this shit. A burning wheelie bin into a police line. And Jordan Parler is the first to be jailed over social media posts for inciting violence. On Facebook, he said every man and his dog should smash out of the Britannia Hotel in Leeds. The hotel was subsequently attacked. Parler was sentenced. They couldn't get him off for that. He's talking about attacking a hotel, not people. How, How did he? How did he get convicted for that? He doesn't even mention the people. He said you should be attacking the hotel. These motherfuckers still wear wigs as judges. Could, the couldn't joke. his defense have said, "Look, he's saying attack a hotel. He's not mentioning any people. He hasn't mentioned how any many, group. How, well, how did he get? Uh, there's a deep history much. behind it. Look it up. You want to look it up? Do our mm-hmm. research. <laughs> 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 oh, <laughs> oh, you man, man, you work it. Oh, hey, 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 this, Mystic man, you working us? You gave us too much homework, man. <laughs> We ain't even we ain't even get we ain't even finished the first ho- homework assignment you gave us, man. Take it easy, man. No, I just yeah, said it's a lot of history behind it. Yeah, man. These yeah, these dudes wearing wigs. They do this in the um Caribbean too. Like, you know, a lot of them little islands, the little black yeah. heads be wearing these wigs. <laughs> yep. But you had no intention of carrying out any act of violence. There can be no doubt that you were inciting others to do so. Otherwise, why post the comment? Please take him down. Yeah. 
Perhaps the best illustration that this might be fizzing out was in Gatwick, where a well-previewed rally at a hotel yeah, housing no asylum seekers led like to a strong police presence, hundreds of counter-protesters, but... Please take him down. Perhaps the best illustration that this might be fizzing out was in Gatwick, where a well-previewed rally at a hotel housing asylum seekers led to a strong police presence, hundreds of counter-protesters, but not enough anti-migrant protesters to even call it a demonstration. This is becoming a low... They, they did the same thing they did with nine, nine, January 6th. They, they, they smoked a bunch of gliders boots and Gladys is like, oh shit, man, nah, they they get they handing out time, time. Fuck this shit. That's the same thing they're doing to these gliders in um, England. They just gonna smoke their boots, make an example, see like sons and Muslims and all that stuff. And Hispanics, we don't learn from other, you know, people's mistakes. But gliders, because they have high IQs, they learn from others' mistakes. And that's a weakness in a multicultural society. In a, in a society where it's just them, that would be a, a great trait to have, to just be able to learn from others' mistakes. But when you're trying to have a revolution and the government is smoking your boots for tweets and throwing trash cans, <laughs> glad that, that, that learning from other people's mistakes gene becomes a fucking negative, Jack. Oh my God! <laughs> yeah, man. They, they, they and, and that, and I think gliders. The people who are behind that are gliders, and they understand glider mentality. They're like, all right, all right, we're gonna, we're gonna end this glider shit right quick. If this was some sons, they would be doing that shit, and niggas would still be riding. They wouldn't give a fuck. But the gliders are like, hey, wait a second, I can get plenty. That's a big if. Oh, it's not yeah. like. Yeah. It's not like they do that though, you know. Since the summer of Floyd, easy. The, what do you want, the examples sons? aren't being made. You know? Well, sons. Well, well, also, yeah, yes. Yeah, so, but sons, sons are like you, we go to prison, we go to jail. We, you know, what I'm saying we. We, we that's does part that. Of our, we do yeah, that. We does that. Gliders on just the you know the numbers like they they don't go to jail like that and and. You tell some people that them protested people like a guy who like got a small business or something, and a and another guy who like works, you know, construction. And you tell them, "Hey, man, you about to go to fucking prison with a bunch of apes um, for the next twenty months because over that trash can you threw at the protest." The other gliders were like, "Huh? They just <laughs> oh, have more really? to lose." Oh hell no! Heavens they, no! They have more to lose. <laughs> They have something to lose. Twenty days would be would would, 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 would teach those gliders. They gave them gliders two months, twenty months for throwing a trash can, twenty months for a tweet. They like they 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 like yeah yeah. Um, do you get the pattern? Because pattern recognition too is another thing that sons struggle with, and gliders do very well. Pattern recognition. Okay, he got twenty months. He got twenty months. Uh, let me take my ass home. <laughs> in Cook County, in Cook County, he would have bonded out from the station. Yeah, like in Cook yeah. County, he would have been home that day for that shit. Exactly. Damn. <laughs> this is just to cause disruption. Now I don't think like they're here to protest or anything. Just people who want to. Dude, dude we... you better put that trash can back. There. Those are some hooligans. Right in this wheelie bin on fire. Fuck me. Jesus, this is mental, guys. Uh, this is like it's absolutely bonkers. This is just to cause disruption now. I don't think. Yeah, well, we, the, the Muslims were shooting fucking a trillion fireworks at the cops, and they talking about this is crazy. Like they're here to protest for anything. Just people who want to ruin their city at the minute. <laughs> Oh my days. Oh yeah, that's them. This is carnage. That's them. 
That's him. Is that the girl? Yeah, that was him. <laughs> he should have wore a mask. He didn't wear no. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, he fell. Oh shit, he fell. No, that's the girl. Oh, the lady's getting arrested and pulled back. <laughs> that's him. He got he got his boots. Well, he doing twenty months. He already doing it too. Like they don't you don't get like a court date in six years, six months. They 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 sent this your ass like as soon as they bring you in there. He already got it. This happened like last week. He got his. He already serving his sentence. Bloody hell. Oh, right the <laughs> Damn, dude, you about to get you about to get <laughs> these dudes don't have wear masks. Mm. These guys are about to get rebuked by Jesus. I'm telling you, man, they will be in there. You're going to get some time. All them people going to get some time. They're not going to play with them. And the Glider Rebellion is going to be stomped out quick. That yeah. Glider Rebellion. Let's see what these guys do. Look, yeah. Three girls were killed by that kid in Southport. It's an act of violence that shattered the peace of the summer holidays in a seaside town. Three girls were killed. BB King, Elsie Dot, Stankham, and Elise Aguirre. However, 186,000 Palestinians have been killed. Most of them are children. Do you see us burning every synagogue that support? That's crazy that they identify with Palestine to like as if it's the, the British's fault that like, like it's the British citizens' fault that what's going on in Palestine. That's crazy. They yeah anywhere. But here's the thing: if it was Syria, if it was Lebanon, if it was in egypt if wherever like that those people they stand in solidarity so it has really nothing to do with lebanon i mean with um with um palestine wherever there was like the smackdown being put on some arabs these motherfuckers would be, be demanding that the white people where they live do something about it absolutely What's the Israeli regime? Another fire, another night of chaos. Anti-immigration rioters attack a hotel in Rotherham. Do you see us holding innocent people responsible? Crowds clashing with police outside a hotel where immigrants are being housed. Yeah, you don't. We're coming in peace. And imagine our anger. Imagine how we feel every day in Chechnya, in Syria, Iraq, Palestine, Kashmir, Mali. Libya, everywhere. Why don't you fucking you go back to killed. that then? We don't behave in a manner that you see these hooligans behaving in because they don't care for their girls. They're here what? for violence. They're here because they hate us. Oh. Hey, uh, a black Christian man born in Wales. Oh, man. Can we just rewind to the part where they glossed over the crimes that uh, Tommy Robinson, I believe, was uh, bringing up? Because they didn't even... Spend a second on it. Yeah, they act like they act like um it was just it's just this one incident that they're that all this rage and few pent up anger from these gliders is about. Kill them girls. Axel Ruda Cabana is 17, British, born in that Wales airline, and of though. Rwandan heritage. God. But who they're directing their anger at? They're directing it at Muslims only. Why? Because their agenda is anti-Islam, straight up. This is our fucking country, not fucking theirs. I'm here to save the kids. The children have been murdered. There's been a massacre on the street. They've got the target and little white girls all over the country. Let's call a spade a fucking spade. It's like Russian roulette at this point. Which one's going to be next? No one questions why BLM went out. No one questions why Palestine went out. We're saving the kids. We're stopping uh -huh. the belt. Uh -huh. Yeah, but you're held to a different... You're held to a high standard, man. Mm. Yeah, yeah, BLM is... BLM is, it's okay if BLM destroys everything and riots for months and months. And even if the cause is less legitimate than this, because it's, it's BLM. Yeah, white people are held to a much different standard, man. Like the standard of behavior that, that they accept out of blacks, it's like, oh my God. It's like, it, it takes you aback. Whites, it's like, Ow. Don't do that. 
stop it now. And Lights are like, yo, okay. And they stop it. You know what I'm saying? That's the thing. Like, lighters literally stop. So it's like, it shows that they do have that restraint. They do have that um, ability to, you know, um, defer gratification, you know, to, uh, to, to pattern recognition playing and all that stuff. My BLM went out. No one questions why Bala standing out. We're shaving the kids. We're stopping the belts. We're closing the borders. Look how mad we've all gone. This is real women. This is lionesses. This is the lion roar. And I'm not racist and I don't give a fuck what you say. And who the fuck is talking? Oh my gosh. <laughs> she still had to. Even yeah. when they like, yo, get the she fuck out. Yeah, you she was still, cooking. You, they still gotta throw that in there. Bro, she does gliders, gliders. I don't know what what this racist word does to y'all in y'all spirit, but that shit then fucking mind fucked y'all for decades, man. Yeah, <laughs> no doubt. Like I mean, like sure. think about it, man. She was cooking, like she was, she was, she was in her bag, and then boom, yeah, she blew that. it over. Who's trying the to kill our kids? Policies that politicians put in place, yeah? Stop that vote! Stop that vote! Stop that vote! Stop that vote! They're calling us far right. We're not far right. We're all fathers and parents and children. These immigrants are coming in without paperwork. We're lying about their ages. We don't know nothing about the, the backgrounds. And that's what it's about. We don't want to be branded far right. You know, we're here for the right reasons. I want my kids to know I didn't stay silent. Leave our kids alone. It's about children that have lost their lives in this city and we're passionate about that up here. We're not racist. We've got Muslim friends. Our country has benefited from migration. However, it's just getting overwhelming. We're a very small island. It's become a security risk. Religion means fuck all, lads. I'm not asked. This is about people coming in. They could be Christians from Somalia or wherever. And the fucking wrong ones. That's what it is. We're letting wrong ones in. This is not religious. That's bollocks. Fucking bollocks. This is about the wrong ones. <laughs> the letting in. You can be a Christian. You can be whatever. You're coming in. You've got no intention of fucking helping the country. You're here to cause trouble. You're here to take and thieve and steal. You're here to stay for nothing. So unfortunately, that's a no-no. There's fifty thousand people here on, on an MI6 list, isn't there? Start with them. Get rid of them. Get rid of the people who are killing kids, raping kids. Get rid of them. Stop the boats. Kick them out. There's too many of you here. You don't respect our country. You don't respect our religion. All she's think about is Aisha. She was nine years old. That's what you should all into. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yo. No, he ain't go there. Okay. What did he say? He yeah, said oh, they're PDF files. He talking about uh, the Prophet Muhammad. Mm-hmm. Talking about oh, his uh, yeah. his love interest. Oh, wow. He better watch out. That's what you should all into. Yeah. He ain't got nothing to lose. Yeah, that's true. Yo, Listen, it's, this is a message for John. It's okay. He was old anyway. Soros, yeah? Britain will never fall. We don't care how many globalists, yeah? George Soros, yeah? You globalist scumbags, yeah? Import as many of them as you want, yeah? Guess what? Christ will prevail, yeah? This world is so corrupt. Labour's supposed to love the North West, supposed to be for the working class. They've stabbed the real people who, who has got real concerns. They've stabbed a lot of us in the back. And we supposed to stand here and let everybody call us right wing and Nazis. I've got Asians in my family. I ain't racist one bit. What I am is scared of this <laughs> government. Now that. got two tier Kia coming on the news and having the audacity to call the general public far right. I utterly condemn the far-right thuggery we've seen this weekend. I've seen all this coming. No one wanted it. We've tried to warn about it, and I'm still going to try and warn about it. I don't want to fight anybody. We don't want wars with Muslims. I don't think it's a good idea attacking mosques at all. I'm not a conservative either. I'm not an anarchist. I want a decent party that cares about the people. That's all we want. Every person, doesn't matter where you're from. Okay, so if Tories weren't the answer, Labour genuine. wasn't the answer, who is? I, I, I'm not a politician and I'm thick as pig shit, but I can talk to people. I've never been to school. I can only write my own name, but I've got an heart as big as a lion. And I'll stand there against anybody for the sake of our country. People need to wake up against Labour. These are the rats. We're not racist. We're scared. Everybody out there is not active and it's not on this street now. Get out there and act. Don't call yourself a man unless you're out here. Don't call yourself a man.
Simple as that. You don't fight for your country. You don't push back the invaders. You're not a man. If we don't fight now, it's, it's going to come to our kids having to fight and they're not going to win it. They're not going to win the, the fight. So I don't yeah. want the violence. We've got to try and do it peacefully. But this has to be the final straw where the, the, there's a clear message sent. He already was like, yeah, this, this generation like that ain't going to do it. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. That's crazy. That was like a quick Maybe give him a few more years. Yeah, stop, I mean, stop feeding them boys tuna and pe beans and shit. Yeah, you need a certain amount of like t high testosterone, red blood males in a, in, a, in, a, in a society to like, you know what I'm saying, to create a few good men. Like for every great white soldier, there's got to be like 10 white men that, you know what I'm saying, wanted to be something same. in life. Yeah. Like, just like anything, just like with, with, with blacks, man, like for every, like, black, great black man and shit, or, or just for every some dude that do an interview on Vlad, every washed up gangster that do an interview with Vlad, <laughs> it's like a thousand dudes in his neighborhood that got killed or went to prison. You know, it's, it's a thousand nameless people that belong and that deserve like a shout out from that story, Can't but they'll it. never get it. Yeah, this is, this is, these, these gliders are very nice. They're very um, respectful. It's sad to see that they're going to be like doing hard time and shit um, for, for this stuff, man. To those in charge that you either step up or you step aside now. I was in Southport on Tuesday. Police tried to keep apart a group of far-right protesters and a much larger anti-fascist counter-protest. The media absolutely, absolutely corrupt. They lied. There wasn't a single member of the EDL there. They weren't a member of the far-right there. There was little girls, older women. There was older men. There was young men, middle-aged men, outraged at what the government's allowing to happen to us. What the government's allowing this cancer to do to us, this cancer that's grown within our nation, we need to stop it. My children were abused by social services. Everybody in England got terrible teeth. Look at these teeth. Yeah, man. their teeth are like police. brown. Yeah, not only yeah. do they not brush them, they're like split and shit looks like five miles of bed yeah. uh, train trip. It looks, it looks like Pirates like of the a... Caribbean ca cast members and shit. Yeah, like yeah. from a zombie movie. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, all of them got bad. This is privilege. This is what privilege look like. It's a cover that up. They've got a yeah, hidden that that won't be released to the public. Defund the BBC. The media are the lies. The media is the virus. Much like at protests in the United States, a line of riot police who sustained minor injuries throughout the course of the day had formed a sort of demilitarized zone between nationalist stop the boats protesters and an equally sized counter protest of mostly left leaning Liverpool locals who showed up in person to confront a mob of who they believed to be far right racist protesters. They're all inbred. Yeah, they need a dentist. They're not interested in like children that were killed in Southport. They just want to cause a fight. We're a multicultural city, a city of sanctuary, and I hope they get lost. What do you think the solution is? Throw them all into the sea. That's what the chant says. Solution is, yeah. well, to get rid of capitalism and have a social society, and then these people would be catered for, and not blaming it on fucking immigrants and refugees, this is what have you. They've obviously got issues because they've been let down, no dentists, no doctors, no housing, right? But that's not, that's not immigrants or, or, or refugees' fault. That's the fault of this fucking government. Despite this frontline tension, it appeared that the vast majority of counter-protesters weren't actually interested in having a direct confrontation with English nationalists and instead had organized their own rally at nearby St. George's Hall in support of migrants and refugees. Typical. Refugees are welcome here. Oh, someone's just got married. Oh, God. Oh. <laughs> See, this is Liverpool. And the far right is trying to threaten that. A quick explanation. What happened in Southport? Obviously, I mean... 
there was a horrible attack in which three children lost their lives. What happened since then was a, a massive lie about the identity of that attacker, which was, you know, led by the likes of Tommy Robinson. After murdering and raping and pillaging 1,400 Jews, look how confident they've become across the entire West. Of Lawrence Fox, of other far-right people online. So an undocumented migrant decided to go into a Taylor Swift dance class today and stab six little girls. Also the likes of Nigel Farage is complicit. We will only yeah, stop this if we start deporting people that come illegally. This led people in Southport. Yeah, man. Um, I got it rough over there in England, man. Any... Whew. Man. Shit. Um... Let's see what these people are saying. Uh, so it's another sun man getting off. It's another sun man getting off on a technicality. Okay, so he wasn't a Muslim. <laughs> he wasn't right. Exactly, and, and we don't know that yet. Um, uh, salute to the fr the freshman. He says no one is being hung in England. <laughs> yeah, man. Um, that was, that yeah, man. Been, no. yeah. Yeah, that may be coming. That was a I don't know, man. I got, I got to see, I got to see that finish, man. Sorry, I, the black people. Yeah, yeah, no, nah, yeah. They, they not. So. Yeah, I need some. What you smoking on, bro? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah, they not. If a black person, if a black person would have gotten like tackled by a goddamn cop out there, man, it would have been a big deal, man. Oh, um, uh, do you know how hard? You know how many uh nuts would be busted in a in liberal's pants just being able to spread that that image out there black a black person getting hung. That's like gold yeah. to them. Uh, yeah. Yes, international gold. Yeah, it would be like it would it would it, we would have heard about like think about it. if 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 somebody had hung a, a black person in. in we would have, yeah, that would have been the first thing. I wouldn't even have been able to do a story about Michael Brown. They would have dropped Michael Brown like a bad habit if they, if, they, if, a, if a black um, person was getting hung around some white people. They would have dropped Michael Brown. You wouldn't have heard nothing about Michael Brown. It would have been nope. straight whoever that kid. That kid's name would have been, everybody would have knew that kid's name. You know, niggas would have been on that. Oh my god, niggas, that shit would have been everywhere. <laughs> Tell you, man, shit. So I would have been the reason up. to. Um, I'm gonna try to put a link it. in that in the chat so you can see it. <laughs> oh, you brought some research. That's what's up. Thanks. Oh man.